This is one of about 2,000 shell middens that are located on the coast of Maine. And a midden is an accumulation here of shells, um, also things that were associated with occupation. As with virtually all of those shell middens, it's currently eroding. Some are lost. They've completely, we've gone to them. They're not there. In 20 years, they've, they've disappeared. They contain information about paleoecology. There's not just shells. There's other, other materials were put in them. Stone tools food remains, anything that people might have used in the course of their daily life. And we can get some insight into what the ecology was like thousands of years ago. It's a heritage for the Native Americans and it's important to a lot of people and again they're disappearing so we're prioritizing where the best places to preserve would be. We're uh, trying to estimate the size, um, mainly the extent and the thickness of shell middens along the coast of Maine, uh, utilizing ground penetrating radar. The radar sends out a signal like a, a speed detector that a policeman would have. Uh, the radar signal goes down into the ground and reflects off layers that, have, that let light go through it at different speeds, that have different electrical properties. For us that means different amount of water, different size, mud versus gravel, and so we'll get layers as we walk over the ground, we'll see the layers of the earth beneath us um, as we walk. Or it's a little bit of water, that it's a little mm -hmm. it's bit a of water, or yeah, it's a house floor. Or yeah, but the, the cotton, I mean, you see better stuff down below. Yeah, also. yeah right here, that's, that's wonky. We're doing a lot of work that hasn't really been done before and kind of drawing attention to sea level rise and climate change and how that really affects the coast and uh, Maine's cultural heritage. And these sites are disappearing and I have a sense of if we can get this message out, if we can get people interested, it can really make a difference in how we look at cultural resources.